Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the jersey review for the 22-23 La Liga season. First a little bit about the background. I'm very proud that I have of the 20 teams in La Liga this season, I have actually 14 already in my collection and you see all of them back there. Uh, there is one 15th team and unfortunately that one got relegated. So uh, you will see me putting 14 jerseys back up there and I usually wear then an alternate or you know a jersey from a team that I have uh, two uh, or more jerseys from, uh, which are exactly five, and you will see them coming up. I'm wearing the Centenary jersey, away jersey for Real Madrid, which complements nicely the Centenary home jersey up there. But before we get into the review, um, quickly, how do I uh, get the pictures in this video? From where do I have them? And of course, how did I decide to uh, group the um, teams within the video? Well, the pictures, I usually go to footy headlines, but seemingly they have some trouble with displaying Puma shorts. So I said, okay, there needs to be a better source. And of course there is. It's footballkitarchive.com, a web page uh, linked below that I strongly can recommend. And what the nice feature there is if you have an account, not only can you add jerseys yourself, but you also can kind of have an online archive of your own collection, which I really, really like, plus a wish list. So I uh, have to go through, through it, but it's a, it's a page where you can also spend uh, countless hours on. Now, how did I now choose the teams within the video? So first of all, uh, every team that I choose, it's in alphabetical order and it's not a strict alphabetical, it's basically how I do call the teams and I will mention that uh, a little bit later how I do it in uh, every particular video. But what I do is I take last season standings and then I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 3, 2, 1 and so on and so forth. Every team with number 1 goes in the first video, everyone with number 2 in the second, third, third and fourth video and so on. And with this mechanism we have in this video Atletico Madrid, Real Sociedad, Celta de Vigo, Espanyol and Real Valladolid. And incredibly I have all five teams in this video. There are two parts where I have only two teams. This is the one where it's absolute overkill for me. And you see already I had a little bit of trouble pull pulling there because you usually had put four up top. I have five here. I kept Espanyol in place. And since we are starting alphabetically, we'll start actually with the, if you want, CD team, because it's the one that finished highest, which is of course Atletico Madrid, where I'm wearing the away jersey from the title winning season, I think 13, 14, or 14, 15 this was. Um, and yeah, we again have this absolute awful Nike template, but the template is, I think, the least prone to this jersey. Is it? I don't mind if Atletico play around with the stripes. You see the one that they won the title in uh, in 2021. Uh, I have here another one that's a 16, 17. You know, they play around with the stripes with different widths. That's all fine, even with the brush strokes. This is one where it's just too much. And it doesn't make any sense. I mean, the good thing is that uh, the boomerang here shape on, on, on the back actually fits kind of in, which it doesn't with most of the shirts. But I don't know where this comes from. And the fans seemingly agree because this is the least selling um, athletic sh uh, shirt in years and the team is not playing that great either. Gotta say, in play, it maybe doesn't look at first not all that bad at uh, Nah, it's not to my liking, like at all. This is one of the worst shirts out there. And even the new sponsor, which actually is not a box sponsor, uh, it's actually not that bad overall. So I mean, when it comes to coloring, that's not that, that bad. And probably that's what saves it from a one uh, star grade. But this absolutely uh, crazy line pattern that completely distracts from the template, which is also another positive, is what kills it for me and is another one for uh, the scrap heap two stars. Unfortunately, it doesn't get much better because uh, while I think the away jersey in dark blue and blue is not that bad, I like my, I like Atleti, although it's black with blue. I, for me, there's the red missing because this is for me the most prominent color. This is just uh, taking all the red out and yeah and put pulled put the crest i mean this might have been celta vigo and then this could actually fit it doesn't fit for atleti to me this is my biggest gripe other than that i think it's a pretty nice jersey i really love the color uh the color combination is also not so bad uh but it's not atleti coco madrid and 
if you have already the crest and the swoosh in this uh, light blue color, why not go all out and do the sponsor as well? The sponsor in white is also. And so, you know, it is not per se the jersey, but it is what it, um, how it fits to, 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 to the club that burp the box me here. And I don't even expect him to wear any red pants with that, which probably could salvage, but it will also look completely out of place. Um, because it's a peeling jersey, I give it five, but on, 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 honestly, if it wouldn't have the nice shape, I would not uh, agree with that. And then I would argue that the third jersey is the worst of, the, of them all. A, again, uh, what's with, what's up with the colors? I mean, this peachy color, then this thingy here really does not look right. And it's, uh, it's such a flowery jersey. This is not a Diego Simeone jersey. This is so such a flowery peachy da 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 da. I mean, you could put this as a wallpaper somewhere, but not for a soccer jersey. Uh, I really dislike it, and especially when the word is at Athletic Club, this did not even provide enough contrast in my uh, for my li liking. They could have well gone with a dark jersey with uh, with lighter pants. This it it, it just doesn't look right. Uh, every time I see it, I hate it. I really really hate it, and. For other teams, the colors may work. For Atletico Madrid, no, this does not work like at all. Don't even get near that. Either decide, do you take a yellow? You may want to go with an orange or, you know, a red or whatever, but not this. The color here is a complete misstep. And then accentuating the weird patch here, the beep, let's call it the beep. It does not elevate this jersey in any way. It actually downgrades it even more. And to me, this is the worst jersey in the league. Despite it being simple. I hate it. I really, really, really hate it. Sorry. The other two videos, the previous one, I started out better. Uh, let's go to something a little bit more interesting, which is, of course, Celta de Vigo. We have now light blue with golden. And I have to say, I'm, I'm also not so sold on it. I mean, the pixel um, pattern, that's interesting. Uh, they refrain from coloring the underarm patches, which is always a good idea to do and not uh, go all crazy. Uh, I think if you put a red here up top, like in the crest, this would look better. The golden is a little bit uh, not fitting. Um, we can always discuss the sponsor. I don't mind it, honestly. Uh, it's a beer sponsor, although it's a 0% uh, alcohol beer. Um, it's not the greatest jersey, but I think uh, as far as a template, the Adidas jerseys go, this is actually not uh, too bad. I'm going to give this a 6. Uh, Zelda has actually also an interesting away jersey, which, which fits nicely. I mean, there's a common thread in there. The pixel pattern now we have in black and gold. Yes, it's a fad from uh, days gone by, but you know, black and gold always will look nice. The only thing, why is the sponsor not in gold? I guess the sponsor gives enough money that they don't want to have that. Uh, but that is the one thing that just does not fit with this jersey. It looks like... Uh, it really looks it doesn't belong. And so uh, it downgrades the jersey a little bit for me. Uh, but it's better than the home home jersey, I have, 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 to, have to say, with the 7. Because the gold paired with the dark color looks better than the gold paired with the light color. Um, actually, the red jersey, uh, I think it's a... It, that is actually quite nice. <laughs> Although it's so template, but I don't mind it. Uh, again... I don't want to go crazy with with, with rating. It is uh, average, so I'm gonna go six here. Last seasons, were, I think, were nicer, and then they have a special jersey in black with some white sides. Seems to be black for black six for for me with no connection to the club. Um, and for a black jersey, yeah, I mean the sponsor fits nicely on that one. That we gotta say, but I cannot go more than a five here. We're going rather fast here. Um, we're going over to Espanol, still with Kelme, still with Riviera Maya, one of my favorite sponsors. Uh, despite how clunky it is, I always like it. We have classic Espanol striping with a twist, a little bit like the Real Sociedad kit up there. Um, I do like it, but I think it's, I, I, I do like the color combination, but I think it went a tad too far because it tries to create this color gradient that is not really there. You have like uh, the blue, then you have the light blue, then you go dark again, and then you want to move over. So you go light blue and white, light blue, white. Um, <sighs> not quite. It doesn't quite do it. it. It looks a little bit too messy for my liking. So despite the Calme Paw, 
the Riviera Maya sponsor and it being overall a classic look for the club um, it's a little bit underwhelming uh, so therefore I think five seems to me about the right I think I like a classic as, as, as Espanol look a teeny bit more um, pink is this pink for pink sakes? At least there is some pink gradient in there. <laughs> it's way, way, way good. And the Riviera Maya. But I think since the pink is so strong, I think you might have gone as well for white. But then maybe the sponsor is not seen as well. This is always the danger with pink jerseys. Again, I don't hate it, but I don't think it's the best choice. It is more or less we want to have a pink jersey. Uh, let's go also five here. And then the third jersey might be the best one of, of them all, except on the side. We have already seen this diagonal slant to the back here. Uh, that actually does not do it. But other than that, the half and half look, the sponsors are uh, very nicely placed. Uh, there is something there that is really, really, really appealing. Again, it's the template that drags it down a little bit because if you look on the side, it really look, looks weird. If you look at just on the front, I think it's a really, the half and half look looks really cool. Um, couldn't we have the sleeve on the white side? If that was also blue, I think this would have completed the look and then would have forced maybe the other side also a little bit darker. I think that is something that should have been done. So maybe a little bit of opportunity missed. And you know, for all this, I give it seven, but it's definitely the best Espanol uh jersey of this season moving over to real sociedad uh when i see this in game i'm very much reminded of the one i am having have hanging up there also kazoo sponsor like we have with valencia although i have read that kazoo is not very uh prominent there and are already thinking of rescinding the sponsorship deals whatever that that that, that may be it's classic Real Sociedad with the stripes having a little bit of a brushstroke effect uh, with a twist. Not totally sold on the color. I think that this color here is nicer uh, than the one where kind of the blue stripe goes all the way up until here, which looks weird. But other than that, I really, I really like like this jersey. Real Sociedad jerseys are usually class, and this one is right up there as well. So I'm gonna go with an eight star. Uh, believe it or, or, or not, I overall like it. If the color was better, we could talk even higher uh, grade there. The away jersey, I'm so and so. Um, the crest is too dark. But I do like the, you know, we have the blue and white accents on the collar and the cuffs. And I like how it's weaving in and out uh, on a black jersey. So it gives kind of a hooped look, but not quite with a little gradient. It's very interesting jer jersey. And there are also that away jerseys have been very, uh, very, very interesting in many different colors as well. Um, I think if you flip the colors a little bit more and made the crest, I think the crest in white and the Macron logo in white would have done a whole lot. I think you could even go full color crest here or, you know, make it white and blue. Uh, not black and blue. I think that 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 is what drags this, jer this jersey down. But other than that, I think it's a really, really interesting one. But because of this, it's not as nice as the home jersey. So I'm dragging it down to seven here. And we move on to Real Valladolid, a team that I'm very happy to have back. I know they got relegated in this jer jersey, although I really like this one. Now, Real Valladolid have a new crest. They basically got rid of the swords and the laurel wreath and we just have the centerpiece, which gives it actually quite a different look. It is now, you know, it emphasizes on the purple and the white more and also on the yellow and the red. It, it uh, you know, before it was a little bit green around, look a little bit, a little bit more playful, but I do like the strong, it, it's a very strong look. So I, I, I actually think the crest, did improve a little bit. Um, sponsor, again, we can discuss about it. My big gripe with this one, I don't mind the golden accents. You got to promote it, celebrate this. Um, I think it's rather plain, but why do we have these golden patches here again? That looks awful, positively awful, and distracts greatly from a otherwise wonderful jersey. If this was all purple, I think, it would just be a purple jersey with three Adidas stripes, which is fine by me with a little bit gold. We can discuss the gold. I think I'm fine with it. Uh, although I think I would have liked uh, to match it a little bit more with the crest, but you know, there's a golden crown. So I'm fine. And as we'll see, they're very much going with a golden theme this season around. Um, where do I go with this one? 
because of the patches i honestly have to say only only six i think it could have been much much better i do like though the away jersey despite the, the patch but here it kind of it doesn't bug me as much because there's too much um flipping you have the black shoulders with gold and you have the purple sleeves uh that kind of are diagonally then you have the gold and then you have uh the black sides the pattern on there is pretty uh is interesting but the coolest thing of course is the iridescent crest uh that like has 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 this metallic look it's a different jersey for sure it will divide opinion but i'm a more on the like set i actually like this a bit more than the home jer uh, jersey it may look a little bit more uh happier because it's a very dark stern jer uh, jersey it look might look ha happier if we had here a full cal cal crest but I, I really do enjoy this i'm gonna go seven here um and then we have the third jersey um which i think has the right ideas but just falls flat on the sleeves you really try to create something special here my absolute love is again the metallic crest fully gold I mean, it looks like there has been a gold bar put on the jersey i like the chevron v for via delete absolutely fine now should the rest of the jersey everything on the sleeves be purple or even have the sleeves in white i think purple sleeves might look better here i don't know the golden sleeves uh i, I, I honestly it should be white sleeves I wonder how it would look with purple sleeves, but I think that as a little bit too much gold, it distracts away from the beautiful golden logos, especially the crest. That's the one thing that this jersey falls flat on. Other than that, I think there is quite some interest there. Uh, the golden crest definitely elevates this. This is one of the higher echelon for, for me. I'm also gonna go seven here. Not quite perfect, but really, really, really good. And so there you have it. Part three is in the books. Which jerseys did you like in there? And where do you agree or disagree with me? Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with all that, have a wonderful day. Bye.